Action Aid Nigeria, in partnership with development partners, are empowering smallholder women, farmers, and young Nigerians in the development of agroecology skills. The empowerment took place in Abuja on Monday during a national summit in agroecology and public private partnership on agroecology. Plus TV Emmanuel Ihejene completes the report. Action Aid Nigeria, in collaboration with a broad range of partners, hosted a crucial summit on agroecology and public private partnerships. Participants included in the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, the Nigeria Agri Business Group, the Global Environment Facility, and various women's farmer organizations. Sueba Dankabu, Deputy Country Director for Action Aid Nigeria, highlighted the summit's goals. Funded by Action Aid International, the three-year project aims to empower 120,000 smallholder women farmers and young Nigerians with agroecological skills, ultimately enhancing food and nutrition security. Dan Cabo expressed hope that the summit will pave the way for increased government investment and program implementation of agroecological practices in Nigeria and West Africa. The Strategic Partnership for Agroecology and Climate Justice in West Africa, SPAC West Africa, Nigeria, funded by Action Aid International uh, Transformative Impact Fund, is a three years project. It is designed to improve food and nutrition security and enhance agroecological skills of 120,000 smallholder women farmers uh, and young people by facilitating access to early maturing seeds, seedlings, livestock, and poultry thus supporting agroecological practices, indigenous seeds, and the biodiversity preservation for increased farm yields. Honorable Gowon Haruna, who represented the Speaker of the House of Representatives, commended Action Aid Nigeria for advancing agricultural growth and food security in the country. The move by Action Aid Nigeria in collaboration with Action Aid International to improve food and nutrition security through enhancing agroecological skills for about 120,000 smallholder women farmers and young people is most commendable. Your efforts in this direction to facilitate access to no, early no, maturing no. seeds, seedlings, livestock and poultry is equally a welcome development. I want to assure you all of the commitment of Mr. Speaker and the Tenth House of Representatives to do all within our constitutional powers to partner with all meaning stakeholders in the task of improving agricultural production in Nigeria. In their goodwill messages, representatives of various organizations pledge more support and assistance to smallholder women farmers, as well as young Nigerians through funding and grants. Now whatever is going to be done as far as agroecology is concerned, is going to assist the women farmers. And we thank you very much for going to um, rub hands, minds together, so that we'll be able to achieve great and come out of poverty and also food insecurity. There's no way we can achieve self-sufficiency without promoting the agroecology component of the agricultural sector. The ministry is working hard to achieve food security, as you are all aware. The ministry unveiled the dry season farming under the National Agro Cultural Cross support scheme agro pocket and very soon we are going to unveil the wet season where we are promoting a lot of top priority commodities so that we will have abundant food in our decks. Five focal areas, biodiversity, climate change, land degradation, persistent organic pollutants and international waters. And uh, none of these focal areas does not concern agriculture. And so that's the reason why it is important for us to collaborate together. We work essentially through civil society organizations, and uh, so far, I'm sure it's a, it's a civil society organization. And so there is this possibility for us to work together. Over 65% of our beneficiaries are actually women farmers. And so it takes us more interested, makes us more interested in continuing to work and to enhance and empower our women farmers as much as possible. Participants were later taken through lecture presentations on various aspects of agroecology. The project is being implemented so far in Ondo, Delta, Ebonyi, Jigawa, 
and the FCT at the national level. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.